All right, hello everybody. It is Mr. Sunshine Rolls Royce Technician Eddie. And boy, we got another special treat for you here today. What we have here is a set of Rolls Royce calipers from a 1994 Silver Spur. These had the uh, uh, sensors on the, on the brake pads, just like this. You can see they're all rusted out. So while uh, when we go to get new ones, we're going to get the uh, later model here. You can see that right there. So uh, what we're going to do, we already took the brake pads out. We took the pins out. So we're going to go ahead and strip this thing down. And to strip these down, we use a big heavy-duty Milwaukee uh, top-of-the-line uh, impact wrench. So we're going to go ahead and get right on this and strip these things down so we can get them into the parts tank and get them done. So I like to just, while I already have it in the bowl. All right, we got those done. We're gonna go ahead and get the little bleeders out of them. Bleeder valves out on all four. And somebody broke the brake line off in that one. So we'll go ahead and get that. Get that out of there. Like that. That's garbage and we'll throw that out all right so we got these small ones out so now let's go for the bigger screw nuts or bolts in the pan so we're going to be putting those all in the parts tank clean all the bolts inside out just like that the spacers we're actually going to pull the little o-rings off of them they're in both sides get them out the single one doesn't have those, the double. Here's the double. Here's the wide end. There, when that one's out. That one's out, that one's out. Put those bolts in there. Now we turn it around. Now this would have used the mineral oil, not the RR363. So you pull your old dust shutter in your uh, or your dust cover off just like that. Just like that. You take a pair of vice grips. Stick it onto the edge of the piston. It's always better to put it in a vise, which we're going to do. All right, so we pull the piston out. You take a sharp probe like this. You pull your o-ring out and there you have it that one stripped so I'll go ahead and get the like to clean everything up I'm gonna take the uh, screwdriver raise this up just to get that piston up out of there like that 
take our vice grips. We're going to be putting new pistons in anyway. Actually, I have to put it back in a vise. There's your piston. There's your seal. Just like that. Throw that out. And we're going to go ahead and continue getting the rest of these out, and I'll be right back. And there you have it. Pistons all yanked out. Uh, we got them all taken out of there. They came out fairly easy. Some of the ones with the uh, mineral oil comes out a lot easier than the RR363 because the you know, 363 was from 66 up to 80. Uh, the, then the newer ones, so it wouldn't have had too much water in them to rust the pistons out. All right, so you can see a little bit of corrosion on the inside, but other than that, everything's dismantled. It's all greasy. It's going to go into the parts tank now, and then we're going to go ahead and soak these and then uh, blast them and we get ready for reassemble. So I'll come back with a live video on that. 561-693-8636. Mr. Sunshine, coming to you live right here in sunny South Florida.